What is up, guys? It is now finally time to start the sprinkler season for 2024. Now, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently this year. For the last few years, I've been doing kind of that cinematic take on opening and winterizing the sprinkler system, but this year I figured we'd switch it up and go back to the old school kind of way, how I was doing it back in 2013. Now, there's been a few changes and repairs that we had to make to the system that some of you guys actually picked up on in the opening and closing videos from last year. So before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and show you what was done. might have seen this area of the yard in the winterization video last winter. This pipe was kind of shaped like an arch going up and back down into the ground. Now the way this got broken to begin with was when we got the sewer line replaced last summer. This is where they dug up the yard to run the new line out of the house and they ended up breaking this sprinkler line in the process. And all last year it just kind of sat in that arch shape as you saw in the winterization video and we finally got that fixed about a week ago. Pretty much just cut it down and rejoined it right here with these two connectors. Now this is where the PGJ used to be in the backyard and as you can see it's been capped off because there's now this little planter thing right in front of where it used to be so it would be pretty useless to still have it there. But you can also see there was another repair made here and that's because this started leaking. I don't really remember when but it did start leaking at some point last year so we pretty much just did the same thing that we did in the front, cut off the broken piece of pipe and put in a connector with some screw down hose clamps. And the last change that a few of you guys actually picked up on last year was the fact that this fence and gate is now moved. You can see the remnants of the old fence in the the old gate and as you can see it did get moved up quite a bit and that's why there was no pgj next to the gate last year pgj used to be kind of right around this area here but i actually think it got capped and moved somewhere else although i didn't really do much with the sprinklers last year so i don't remember entirely so as usual the first thing we need to do is turn on the main sprinkler valve which is all the way buried back there yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that turned on and then we'll move outside and get the rest of the valves turned on. It looks like I actually left one of the valves open after the winterization last year. However, this one is still closed. So we'll go ahead and open that. <laughs> It's finally time to go ahead and put the system into manual mode and we'll just go ahead and start with zone one. This might be a leak. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that and see if it um, progresses but I think it's probably just from the, uh, the, the surge of water from starting up the sprinkler zone. Looks like we're pretty good so far. Yeah, it looks like there's no leaks yet. That's pretty good to see. So it looks like we're pretty good to go on zone one, no leaks, and the uh, whatever this was that kind of looked like a leak didn't spread. It actually stopped pretty quickly after the uh, zone was all the way turned on. But since we're good on zone one, let's go ahead and move on to zone two. Now zone two didn't really get winterized properly because of some issue with the valve not opening, so if there's going to be any issues, it's going to be with this one. Uh, it, looks like it, it looks like it survived the winter. Now there is one more head over here on this side of the house on zone two, and it looks like this one survived the winter as well. That is always a good sight to see. And it looks like we're all good to go on zone two as well. No leaks on this zone either, which again is always a good thing to see. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to zone three. Now this is the zone that has the uh, the line patch on it. If my camera would focus on it, oh, you get the idea. Uh, it doesn't look like it's leaking from here, but we'll get closer to it in just a second and see. One of these two right here will probably get capped because you really don't need two that close to each other. We'll see, I might move this one right here to the uh, grass line here and extend the arch and then just get rid of the uh, 360 degree one altogether but I don't know, we'll see how it goes. And it looks like that line is holding perfectly fine with no issues, which again, very good thing to see.
And just like the rest of them, zone three is good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to zone four. Nothing on zone four yet. Okay, yeah, we're good. Good, good, all the way down to here. Got some air in the line. And again, we've got another one of those like leak looking type deals. Although again, I think it's just from the uh, the surge of putting water through these heads because uh, we do still have some really crappy heads left in this system. Eventually I would like to get this entire system replaced with uh, Pro Spray PRS 40s, but I have no idea when that would happen. Looking good so far. And uh, this is, I believe, oh, it is still here. Okay. I thought for sure that this got moved somewhere else. But no, it's, the PGJ is still here. Very nice. Then the problem is, why? how come I don't have anything covering this? Did not realize that's how that was. So, trying to think for the future here. Maybe this one should get moved into the corner by the fence since the fence is closer now. And then we can tee off of it and put another rotor in this corner. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, drop it in the comments below, and who knows, I might do it. And we of course still have the uh, the green MP rotator. This is a uh, 210 to 270 degree nozzle, I believe. But again, no leaks on this zone, which is great. And it looks like we are getting coverage all the way onto the porch here, so this one probably needs to be turned down just a little bit. Yeah, it's going over the fence too. Very nice, but it's getting the grass. That's what's important. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the movement in the water on the ground right here, but this one does actually look like it's got a leak, which isn't really what I wanted to see, but again, this is a really cheap, crappy head, so hopefully sometime this year we can get that replaced with a, uh, a four inch, not a freaking two inch like what's here right now, but a four inch Pro Spray PRS 40. Yeah, I'd say that one's definitely leaking. But other than this one, this zone looks good, so we're gonna go ahead and go on to zone five. And it suddenly just got incredibly windy out here. So if you hear any wind noise in the mic, I apologize for that, but that's just how it is. Anyway, zone five is the last one that's actually got sprinklers in the front. And that took a pretty long time to start up, but okay. Looks like there's, all right, that's not good. Gonna have to take a look at that. So this one's clogged. This one seems to be working okay. Actually, this is a pretty good demonstration of how uh, wind resistant these MP rotators are. Very nice. We keep having issues with this one, and this time it looks like it's just clogged, which I, I don't know why. I don't know why we'd be doing that. This isn't the first time this has happened, but it is quite annoying, so. Yeah, it's just like barely dribbling out right there, but later on in the summer, we'll dig this up and uh, see what happened to it. As you can see, it looks like this got hit with the lawnmower at some point too. So that's great. Yeah, this one's got no problems and I can actually hear the uh, the maxi paw in the backyard. And we got the good old side strip right here. Still working perfectly fine. This one actually has never been replaced, if I remember correctly at least. But I think I put that in in like 2014, so 10 years. As long as I'm right about it never being replaced, that's a pretty good run. And of course the, uh, the good old maxi paw right here. Very nice, and then there's another MP rotator hidden way up there, but that's just another uh, 90 to 210 degree MP2000.
I actually totally forgot about this one right here, but this one's working too. Looks like it doesn't have any issues. And this one you can tell has been here for a while because that uh, the cap of the MP rotator is supposed to be like kind of like an orange tannish color. And this one has been faded pretty much to completely white. Yeah, okay, so other than this one right here, zone five looks to be in pretty good shape. Again, we'll be revisiting this one later this summer to see what's wrong with it. And I'm also probably just gonna flush this entire line out because this is the lowest point in the line. So obviously at some point something got into it and maybe maybe the last time I flushed it, it didn't get it all out. It just got it out enough to work for a year. And I don't know, maybe when I winterized it, it pushed the rest of whatever's in the line down to this head. But as you can see, again, that's really not gonna do much. That needs fixing for sure. But we're gonna go ahead and move on to zone six. We'll start off in the usual spot for zone six and this one looks like it's doing pretty good. No leaks and it's still going plenty far out into the yard. And then there's the I-20. Now this is actually the original stainless steel I-20 that I installed I think in 2017. As you can see it's lost its cap. But it doesn't look like it's rusted or corroded or anything which is good. But I would hope that it being a stainless steel sprinkler it wouldn't rust or corrode or anything. It does look like the ground kind of eroded around it though. Oh here we go. This looks like fun. So we got a leak right here. And it looks like it's farther back than our repair, so. All right, well, the repair held. That's good, but that's definitely gotta be fixed. And as I mentioned earlier, there is no more PGJ right here. That's fun. That's, yeah, that's not supposed to be doing that. This one's doing good. I don't think I've even touched this one since I installed the uh, the MP rotator on that body. I think it's actually a Rainbird Sure Pop down there, but I put that in in like 2013. So again, another 10, 11 year sprinkler still holding up. And this is broken too. Didn't I, I think I replaced the same exact issue last year on this exact head. All right, well, there's another repair. I guess at this point, I'm just gonna make a whole repair video for zone six sometime this summer, but yeah, definitely not supposed to be doing that. So zone six is in pretty rough shape, but it's time to move on to zone seven, which is the last zone. And from here at least, zone seven looks like it's running perfectly fine. Still got the same four heads lined up against the, uh, the fence right here. Now my longtime viewers of this uh, Sprinkler Stuff series will remember that this zone was completely revamped in I think 2016 is when we did it. Um, but when we first moved here, the layout for this zone was really, really stupid. So if you want to see what it was like before I revamped it, uh, hit the card in the top right corner of the screen. So there you go, guys. Zone 7 is working perfectly fine. And with that, that is going to be the end of the system opening video for 2024. We will, of course, be back hopefully doing some videos on fixing zone 6. We're probably going to start with this giant leak right here but until then guys that is going to be it for this video hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching